Hello and welcome to Mr Tompkins EdTech. It's the first morning of lockdown three and we can, you can probably tell from my natty trousers that we are going back into remote learning. Uh, and I thought this morning I could just do a quick video on my remote learning setup, uh, what devices I use and why, uh, and a few discussions around those. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. Okay, so first up I've got my flask of coffee. Essential number one, I think it's going to be a long morning. Uh, essential number two is my laptop here. Now I've got a HP ZBook X360, which is very nice. Uh, you can use it as a laptop or you can turn it all the way around into tablet mode. Uh, and I've got a stylus that goes with it, uh, so I can, I can write directly on the screen. Uh, and that's what I use to make a lot of my mass videos. Uh, so I'll just write directly on the screen and catch that as I go along. But the problem for remote learning is if I've got it in this setup, then my video camera's up here, so I can't catch myself fast. So I've kind of upped my game a little bit on my remote learning setup, I've added a few extra bits in, uh, which we'll talk about next. Okay, now the next essential uh, thing from my setup, you know, I've got a cardioid microphone here. This is a blue snowball uh, and I've added a pop shield to it. Okay, so you know, the microphone that comes with the laptop is all right, but you know, if I'm going to be using this for the next six weeks, uh, I do think having a good sound quality is helpful. Uh, and also it's good for videos and things like that to have uh, a better microphone. So probably I've got I've got the two running at the moment, the one on the camera and the and the one here. So if you switch between them here, you can probably hear the difference yourself between having a, a good uh, microphone and and not. Also, the nice thing about this one is it's um, directional, so it kind of concentrates the sound here and um, and ignores everything around it. So it's quite good at, at blocking out background sounds if you've got a kind of a noisy household. Okay, so new for lockdown three, I've just got this recently. This is a Wacom One uh, display tablet. Um, I was thinking originally of just getting a second screen. Uh, I think it's handy to have two screens. So you've got one screen for uh, working with teams and the other one for showing what we're gonna be sharing with the students. Um, but I thought I'd get uh, something like this instead because I can, I can also write on this. So, this is going to sit here, next to me here. I've got the, the pen and I can write on it. So this is gonna be my whiteboard. Okay, so I've now got the Wacom One turned on. Uh, and you can see that I'm using OneNote over here. So this is gonna be my presentation that I'm gonna to make to the students. Uh, great thing about these Wacoms is that you've got, uh, you can write all over it, so. Hello, students, it's really nice and easy to, to use the stylus on top of it so you can annotate as you go along or you can you can write on things use it as your whiteboard great stuff uh, so that's lovely and so I've got my my whiteboard down here and then so that leaves me the the laptop screen to run teams so I'll be able to see all my students uh, smiley little faces up here I'll be able to read the chat no problem at all and I'll be able to see also what's going on on my whiteboard uh, I do think having a second screen like this is a really, really good idea for, for remote learning. Now, if your budget doesn't stretch to a Wacom One tablet like this, you can just use a second screen. Um, that was going to be my original intention. As long as your laptop has got like a HDMI out, you can plug it into a second screen, no problem at all. And if you don't have a second screen, you can even make use of a TV. Most TVs have HDMI input these days and are... are um, at least support 1080p. The other thing about doing it that way is it makes it a lot easier in teams to share what it is you're doing. Uh, so when you share, you can just share like screen two. So if I, I've got here on my desktop, screen one and screen two, I don't really like using share to desktop normally when I'm teams calling because uh, you can accidentally show something that you shouldn't in, in teams. Uh, but I can just select screen two as my presentation screen and that leaves me screen one as my, as my team's interaction screen. Now again, if your budget doesn't stretch to one of these Wacom ones and you want some um, interaction that you want to be able to write on things, uh, a good halfway house is a graphics tablet. 
Uh, they, they come in all sorts of sizes, anything from this size down to something that looks like this. This is something that's very cheap, it's about £35. Uh, you can just simply plug it in with the USB and then you can write here. Obviously you're not going to see what you're writing and it takes a little bit more uh, concentration because uh, you're going to be writing here but looking at what you're, you're writing on the screen. So you have to get that kind of coordination going. Uh, now all of these things I will put links in the description for so if you're interested in purchasing or finding these things online I'll put some Amazon links uh, below. I've also got a Amazon storefront where I've got some other suggested laptops and tab uh, graphics tablets that I'd recommend. Um, so check those out. So with my flask and my two screens and my weapon pen I feel totally ready for to face the day. Uh, so let's bring it on. I hope you're equally ready for your first day of remote learning. Uh, if you found this uh, video useful, please do drop it a like. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel for more EdTech videos. I'm gonna put out a few more on remote learning over the next few weeks. So stay tuned and uh, see you on the next video.